We are two senators short of being able to do any business on the floor of the Oregon State Senate. That is Senate President Peter Courtney speaking to the Senate less than an hour ago. Republicans have walked out for the second time this session, bringing all business to a halt. Senator Courtney asked Governor Kate Brown to send Oregon State troopers to find those missing Republicans. And just 15 minutes ago, she agreed and authorized that request. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Brenda Braxton. We have been following this story all week. Republicans are furious about a cap and trade bill aimed at cutting carbon emissions. KGW's Morgan Romero joins us live from the state capitol in Salem. And Morgan Courtney was visibly frustrated as he spoke today. Yeah, Brenda, of course, that session on the Senate floor was extremely short. Initially, it started with Peter Courtney calling for the sergeant of arms to search for the Republican senators that were missing. There's 11 of them, so they were too short of reaching a quorum. The sergeant of arms was unable to track down those Republican senators. So as you mentioned, he did call on the governor and the governor authorized it for Oregon State Police troopers to go out and track them down. Of course, he said this was not an easy decision. He says this was one of the most difficult days in his legislative history. He says he wishes that they would come back. He actually begged them to come back. And again, as I said, the session floor, very short. But his sorrow, his frustration really echoed throughout the chamber. Governor Brown issued a statement that said, in part, as the executive of the agency, I'm authorizing the state police to fulfill the Senate Democrats request. It is absolutely unacceptable that the Senate Republicans would turn their back on their constituents who they are honor bound to represent here in this building. They need to return and do the jobs they were elected to do, end quote. Now, again, not one Republican senator present, and this walkout was over House Bill 2020, a very controversial bill which would implement a sweeping carbon cap and trade system in Oregon in an effort to reduce emissions. The state couldn't reach a quorum, so, excuse me, the Senate couldn't reach a quorum, so they weren't able to formally vote on the bill. Republicans say cap and trade would hit their rural communities hard in industries like logging by raising fossil fuel prices and sending jobs out of state. This is the saddest day of my legislative life. There is no joy in my heart for what I just read. Pure and simple, my heart is broken. And the GOP Senate caucus sent a press release saying in part, quote, we've endured threats of arrest, fines and pulling community project funds from the governor, Senate president and majority leader. They went on to say, we will not stand by and be bullied by the majority party any longer. Oregonians deserve better. It's time for the majority party to consider all Oregonians, not just the ones in Portland. And back out here live outside the Capitol, you can see a small group gathered across the street. These folks are protesting House Bill 2020. I interviewed one of them. You see him off in the distance. He's a logger from Dallas. And he echoed that sentiment, saying he feels that the legislature simply represents the Portland area, and he feels as a rural district, their voices are not heard. He applauds his Republican representative and senators for speaking out against this. Back to you.